Hey guys, welcome to my video. My name is Anthony Davidson and today I'm going to be talking about On Center's takeoff software, On Screen Takeoff. Now I have used this software for about two years now at work and I have learned a ton using it. I have been way more efficient doing takeoffs and estimating than I ever have been. And I've never seen anyone review this product or do a tech demonstration of it online. I'm sure you can get it through if you own the product, but if you want, you know, curious about buying it, you know, you would need to see something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So let's just go ahead and start here and we'll go to their website. You know, they have a nice, clean looking, chic, sleek website. And you can see here in the middle, be more competitive, submit more bids. Now, as we talk about on-screen takeoff, you'll keep hearing how easy and efficient and fast it is. You can learn this program in minutes. And if you know a little bit about construction, you'll just excel from there on out. And again here, it says help estimators bid more work. Again, that lends its hands to how easy it is. Improve your bottom line, grow your profits. And that's just common sense. If you're gonna bid more work, you're gonna win more jobs, and hopefully they're not lose their job, then you're gonna increase your bottom line and earn a profit. So anyone checking out their website, I suggest going to the products here in the upper left hand corner. And then once we get there, you'll see two videos right here, estimating and project management. Go ahead and check out the estimating one. This is an overview of on-screen takeoff as seen from a small construction company who you know, does maybe about $10 million a year. And they do all their takeoff and estimating by hand. So they went ahead and brought on-screen takeoff into their office. One guy did it by hand, took him six to seven hours. The other guy did it on on-screen, took him 45 minutes. So right there, they have just saved six hours of their time bidding projects. So let's just go ahead and scroll down here. You can see here, takeoff on-screen is good for concrete, electrical, fire stop, flooring, painting, roofing, structural steel, wall, ceiling, drywall, acoustical ceilings. And over here in the bottom right hand corner, it says all trades. So no matter what your scope is, on-screen takeoff will do the job for you. Let's go ahead and postpone that. So let's go ahead and here open on-screen takeoff. <clears throat> so this program is very e user friendly. I'll go over just some basic functions and features of this. And after I go through that, kind of go over the brief overview of uh, some trades and the functionality of it. We'll, you know, we'll just talk about the advantages and disadvantages of it. Then at that point, you can you know know if this product is right for you. And on that note, you know, there are products out there like this product, V360, Bluebeam, Plan Swift, Autodesk Quantity Takeoff, which is almost very similar to this program. However, none of them compare. This one's so easy and the streamlined process of using it is so simple. Like I said before, you can learn this program in minutes with minimal construction knowledge. So let's go ahead and start here with um, concrete. You know, that's the basic one. Concrete uses just areas. You know, with a third dimension of thickness. So let me scroll in here. And we'll just kind of see this new building floor. Disregard the other colors. And we'll just go here and hit the, hit the plus button. We'll call it an area condition. Right here you'll see area. And the type, if you see here it has all the CSI codes. You can set up your own through here. And we'll just call this cast in place concrete for this slab and we'll just call it um, slab right now we'll just have we'll give it just just a basic thickness of four inches so you type it four in there you could choose a different color for each condition you create and here we can have the area of the face of it and also go down to volume and cubic yards and you might go down here to area counts maybe if you're doing different types of footings or grade beams or or something of that sort and it's pretty simple over here in the left hand, in the middle, we have slab. Let's just, we'll just go ahead and outline this and call this our slab. We'll just, real quick, we'll just assume this inner area is just a slab. Even though it's not, but we'll just, for the ease of this video, we'll go ahead and do that. And you can see, you can just, it's just click. When you get back to this one, escape is to go back. You can get to the end, 
double click, you hear the little chime, it tells you you've completed it. So we have this whole area, you can see over here that is 21,066 square feet and it's going to be about 260 cubic yards at the 4 inch thickness. It's that simple. And then another thing, let's just go ahead and say we're going to do some, let's just say around this planner, we'll just call this a planner and say it's, you know, some curve around it. So it's linear, measured that way, and we'll call this cast in place as well. And we'll just call this planter curb. So the height of it is about 12 inches from when we form it, you know, into the subgrade, and the thickness on top, if we're looking at it downward, we'll just say six inches. And we'll give it a color of red. You need the advanced tab if you want to set a curve segment, if we have some curvature on any curves. And again, length here, and since we know the height and thickness, we can go ahead and go to volume and calculate the cubic yards for the concrete. And let's just click drag, let go, click, drag, let go, click, drag, let go, click, drag, let go. And let's say this outer circle is a curve. So instead of going line by line by line by line by line, we'll go ahead and erase those. You can just go here, straight across, and we can see in the middle of this line. Right click on it. See this little square. Then you get this little crosshair thing. You pull it out and it creates an even smooth curve. Again, we'll do it to the other side, assuming this is a curve. And then you can just grab them and you can see they'll, they'll connect. But don't do too much and get out of shape, but you know, we can get just right sensitive but there we go so that's how simple this is to use okay let's go ahead and let's go to walls and ceilings I mean painting we can do sides of walls any sides of buildings square footage of buildings square footage of walls flooring pretty much the same thing let's go to walls and ceilings here we'll open this up so we see here we have walls. I'll click on one of these. This is a wall type they've called out and their conditions as the B3 and it's 13 feet tall. This specific one is 40 lineal feet. And the 514 square feet they probably set a height to it. So they did. The height is 13 feet and the thickness is 4 inches. So again with minimal construction knowledge of how things are built and the way things are measured this program should be simple. So we'll go we'll start here with this drywall, this conference, this room 230. We'll just say the wall type here is that. And we'll do this on we'll do the acoustical ceiling. So again, it can be click, 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 click. And it's as simple as that. So let's say we get rid of that. And let's say we want to know how much drywall is in this room. Well, you need the ceiling and walls. And to save a step, let's assume this acoustical ceiling is the drywall for the ceiling. Or let's just say it's the acoustical ceiling for the drywall. And then we'll do the walls. We'll just say the drywall. We'll just call this one the other one. So I hold down control. Now I can see I have both of them highlighted. And I can let go control. I'm just going to click around the room again. And I'm doing both of these conditions at the same time. So it's going to give me the walls. And now the ceiling. So you can see here now we have the ceiling and the walls done at the same time. And another cool condition is count. So as you can see here on the right hand side, how many doors, right hand or left hand. So you can just go ahead and create a count condition. We'll call it door. And we can put it in any one of these, but we won't do anything for now. And 
here, we'll call it count. And then we'll call it a square. Then you just, bam, square. Well, now you're saying, how come it doesn't look like that door on the right? Well, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Let's go back to the plus over here. You go to area count. But in this drop down, we have an attachment. An attachment will attach itself to the area you're working on. So, like like these door frames, we're gonna attach a door to it. So then on our wall takeoff, it's gonna minus that area of that door already. So we know with any windows and doors, we get the correct and accurate square footage of how much wall space there is. So we'll hit attachment. We'll just name it door again. Now we'll see over here in the right hand corner, instead of just shapes, now we have a right hand or left hand door. We'll go ahead and click on right hand door. Give the door a height of just say eight feet. And we'll call it a three foot wide door. We'll go ahead and put it out here. Now you can see I can slide it. See how it's along this side along this wall? We'll slide it. And I can just click on it and drag it and flip it. And because it's right hand, when you flip to the other side, obviously the door changes hinge sides. So now we have it there. We see the door. We have one, and we'll go ahead and you, know, you can select perimeter, the count. And it's very cool that you have different quantity options for every condition. Because you know, lineal feet and cubic yards go together, counts and square footage go together. So it's very neat that they made this feature. So we'll go surface area on one side. We'll see over here, this eight by three foot door is 24 square feet. So again, it's a really cool feature of this program. You know, feet of walls, square footage of walls, and again, we can go through all these electrical. You know, how many lights, how many lineal feet of wire, you know, how for underground, how far are we going in the trench? So for our rigid conduit, you know, from light to light or ballast to ballast, how much are we doing? Plumbing can be the same. So it's all very, very useful just with the conditions you can make. Linear, area, and count. And another really cool one I like is flooring. Because you can add your ground lines in your tile and all that. So with the specs say it's calling for this ceramic tile here. The CT1. Well, we open it up and it's four inches thick and just squ and the square foot of the ceramic tile. It's very, very useful. And again, we have the walls, by how many square feet of hardy backer if the walls are tiled in, the, in bathrooms and all that, all the cement board. It's just a very good program. So some of the advantages and disadvantages of the program are cost, Especially for a great product, costs are always going to be an issue. Costs are always higher with a great product, but look at the time you're saving on estimating. If you're bidding more work, you're going to hopefully win more jobs and increase your bottom line number. So the costs, in that sense, are relatively minimal and small compared to what you're getting out of this product. Another uh, disadvantage to this is a, you know, maybe your estimator doesn't have much construction knowledge. It's a great learning tool, which could be an advantage, but if they cannot think maybe three-dimensionally and think how things are built, and if, how, do, how am I going to take a takeoff on a 2D plan to get a 3D um, dimension or a 3D quantification of a material? So a lot of that kind of plays in role with the, with the user, and uh, if you have that, you might have a lot of operator error problems. And again, this program is great. I suggest anyone that wants to buy it, go ahead and go to the website, check out the video, check out the website. Um, they have a frequently asked questions section as well. And I just encourage anyone who's looking to streamline their estimating and takeoff process to go with this program. It is quick, it is easy. You're gonna minimize your time over and over and over. And of course, the better you get at it, the production rates, your takeoff engineers are going to increase over time.